So are you a medium-sized company with enterprise aspirations? Does your FP&A team want to produce beautiful reports, dashboards, planning and forecasting like the big boys? Well, here today we've got Douglas Young and he's based out of Singapore. He's worked with many large organizations, but now what he's focused on is helping those medium-sized organizations, those smaller organizations, act and play like the big boys. Welcome, Douglas. Thanks, Darren. So t tell us about some of the work that you're doing and what you're seeing in the marketplace there with these medium-sized companies now. Yes, uh, so I've been, uh, I've, I'm now working and focusing on medium-sized companies and try to see how we can bridge that gap uh, between having done uh, everything on Excel to maybe use uh, some better tools in terms of uh, data structure, in terms of business modeling, and, and also in terms of uh, data visualization. So a lot of these companies still have a pretty basic uh, accounting program. So they could be using uh, zero uh, solutions. They might be using QuickBooks solutions. But when it comes to analysis, it's mostly uh, Excel-based. And we, uh, what I'm seeing is that uh, these companies are overwhelmed by the amount of data they have. And sometimes it's difficult to just rely on zero or, or, or QuickBooks to try to come up with the right analysis and also the right kind of uh, data visualization tools. So there's definitely a, a need and uh, a desire to get, a, uh, to get some more powerful tools, but something that will break the bank for, for these uh, mid-sized companies. Absolutely. And I'm sure you've seen this as well with dealing with large companies. They may have something like SAP or Oracle, etc. But very often these very large companies are run day to day and week to week on, on Excel. Yes, yes, that's, that's right. Because sometimes even if you're using an SAP or Oracle, uh, profession, FNA professionals are still very much com uh, very comfortable using Excel. So what happens is that you see them downloading information or just getting data out of these uh, ERP or even uh, get information out of uh, business, business intelligence tools and try to manipulate those uh, in Excel. So uh, yeah, you're right. Even larger companies, I guess because of uh, how people work, uh, they don't tend to rely on more specialized uh, tools, but always go back to spreadsheets and, and try to manipulate uh, the data within that environment. And obviously we've seen, uh, as you mentioned, tools like Xero, QuickBooks Online, coming into the cloud fray, uh, providing high-end accounting capabilities at a low cost. What are you seeing on the fp &A side of things in a similar vein? I'm seeing that uh, mainly because right now there's not uh, a lot of analytical capability out of those other uh, software. Of course, you can do a lot of reporting and out of, with Zero and QuickBooks, but those are mainly on the accounting, financial, uh, statutory accounting side of things. Uh, in terms of FP&A, there's definitely a need for these companies to, be, to get better in their uh, analytical capability. Not only would that help them in running their business, but all of these companies are, uh, are wanting to, to grow their business by tapping funds from venture capitalists or, or private equity. And without the FP&A uh, support and systems, it becomes very manual and difficult for them to, to extract information from different accounting software and try to put together information very quickly. And especially when you have disparate data within the organization and you don't have a good fp &A tool to consolidate it, then you have different versions of truth and then you spend a lot of time reconciling uh, and just trying to understand uh, what, what your data really tells you. Absolutely. And uh, do you think there's a particular size of organization um, that would benefit from now having a look at this? Uh, when, when, when does it become a, a big enough problem for some of these um, smaller companies? Yeah, well, 
in my opinion, that it's never uh, too early to start putting in these disciplines because it's probably too late when you realize you, you don't have the right information. I, I, I would actually say, uh, even if you're, if you're in, in your startup mode where you try to get your Series A funding, uh, that's where you need to start looking at your processes and looking at your, your tools. Uh, and that is why uh, some of these companies are not doing that because at that size, the, the cost to get uh, some of those high-end uh, FPNA or data visualization tools is just too prohibitive. So uh, I think those definitely are companies that need it, but currently there's not a lot of uh, uh, choices they have when it comes to uh, more specialized FPNA uh, platforms and programs. Wonderful. And we could talk about this all day, but uh, this is just a quick intro into this. And I think it's a really in interesting subject that we'll be expanding upon with uh, different blogs and different pieces over the next few weeks. If you've got any questions, uh, Douglas is more than happy to help you. Just reach out to him at any point. My pleasure. Thanks, Darren. Thanks, Douglas. <laughs>